afternoon everybody it's coming up to five o'clock so i might catch some of you online before you're going home or whilst you're getting ready to cook your dinner um i've come on tonight um this afternoon um to answer a few questions about what is a glass workshop um, I've had a few of you message me and ask what actually happens in the glass workshops when I hold a class in glass so I wanted to basically tell you there are three main steps to the class in glass workshop um, so you basically start off with a simple drawing this is one that um, Jake actually created for me because he wants to do this the next time he does a class in glass because bless him he always comes with me and helps so he's taken a picture of a moth that he really likes and he's drawn that out so that's been drawn onto um, tracing paper because he's actually used a photograph of a moth and then we turn it into a basic line drawing um, and then we put over the glass plate and once we've put over the glass plate we then either use, I can't find it now, <laughs> we either use a glass line pen to draw the outlines um, and that creates the outline of the moth. So we can use the black colour, I've got reds, golds um, and I think there's a yellowy colour. So that would create the outline of the moth. Um, if you're feeling a bit more adventurous you can always use copper wire and twist and bend um, that shape um, of the moth and then once that outline is actually created what we then do to give it a bit more colour and a bit more interest hi there are you watching Darren that's lovely if you are um, I can't see any questions so if you're asking any questions I'm really sorry I can't answer them at the moment because they're not actually popping up on my phone so I'll come back on after and answer any questions so once we've actually created the drawing either using the um, glass enamels that's just a little needle in the top to stop the nozzle blocking up um, and once we do that hi Darren you are watching that's fabulous um, we'll create that outline or you can be a bit more adventurous like I say and try and mould it using tweezers and pliers and things like that and use the copper wire to create the outline of the um, shape that you've originally drawn then what we'll do is once that outline is created we'll start adding some colour um, that'll be using either the glass chips we've got lovely glass chips or some glass powder or some um, glass eggshell which is basically as thin as eggshell and it's really fine and it creates a nice image we'll also put some background on um, once that's done and you're happy with your image that you're going to be putting in the glass I'll basically cap it off with another layer of glass um, and if you're making it for a wall hanging I'll add two little fixings at the top and then that will be put into the kiln and melted at 780 degrees overnight and it will cool down um, the next day until I can take it out and it will be then at room temperature and ready to send back to you so that's basically basically how it breaks down so there's three basic steps when you come to a workshop with me we choose a design that you really really want to do hi Jodie lovely so we um, choose the design that you want to do like I say this is a design that Jake wants to do at the next workshop he's doing with me that's on the 8th of September if anybody else wants to join me um, so that's the 8th of September and this will be the drawing that you do um, that can be traced from an original photograph or an image that you choose um, it could it doesn't need to be a thing it could actually be your own um, portrait in glass those are quite fun to do I've done quite a few of those where people have brought along their own photograph and will create them in glass which is really really quite a lot of fun to do so you can do that so we do do the outline first we'll do the um, drawing onto the tracing paper then we'll use um, the glass line pen or the copper wire and then we'll we'll use um, copper foil we can use aluminium foil I've got I don't know apparently it's like scrubbing thing for cleaning but I wouldn't know about that because I don't do cleaning and um, we can make it more interesting using the colour 
and then once you've finished making your beautiful creation I will take it away with me I'll cap it off with another layer of glass put some um, hooks in to hang the beautiful piece of art once it's been fired fire it in the kiln and then once it's cooled down I shall wrap it up pack it up and send it back to you so that basically is what we do in a class in glass obviously it takes a little bit longer than the five minutes I've taken to explain to you the workshops normally last about two hours and the next one if you want to join me is on September the 8th at Hobbycraft in Stafford and it's 1 until 3 p.m. I'd love to see as many of you creative bodies there as possible but don't forget even if you're not creative please remember that a lot of people say they aren't creative but once they've been to join me on a class in glass they soon realize that everybody's creative and with the right guidance and support anybody can produce a beautiful piece of art thanks ever so much for watching and please remember if you've got any questions i can't see them coming up um, on my telephone um, because i'm in my little shed and i don't have my laptop with me so pop any questions you've got it doesn't matter whether you think they're silly questions or not i'd love to answer them and help you because i'd love to see as many of you as possible creating something in glass thanks for watching and i'll see you again soon take care bye